Good morning, everyone. I am Kiana Shaw, CEO of Lead Hership Academy and the creator of this here group, Mothers Raising Teen Daughters. Good morning. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this is part two because I realized that the other video was turned sideways and couldn't see you. <laughs> and then when I went to get the replay, it was irritating me. So I decided to just do another one. Um, so I wanted to real quickly um, answer the, uh, the question from Naisha Monique in the group. Um, and that question was, with all this going on in the world, at what point do you allow your daughter to exercise her freedoms, right? And, you know, allow her to do the, some of the things she wants to do. So my answer to that um, is right now, <laughs> allow her to exercise freedom, but base it on her, her responsibilities and her level of of trustworthiness right so um, one of the things my mother used to say to me was you can't have freedom without responsibility if you want the freedom to come and go as you please to spend a night out you need the responsibility of a, of a key to your own front door right now is everything to that scale no but it serves the point to say a lot of times our children want to be able to do things but they don't have any responsibilities in their life so if she wants to go to the mall by herself can you already trust her to go where she says she's gonna go can is are her grades good enough right because that's a responsibility to being able to have the freedom to go as you you know to the mall by yourself or to hang out with your friends at the movie by yourself these are things that you need to be able to judge with your daughter and so Freedom with responsibility, right? So are, are the chores done? Again, I told you guys, don't negotiate with your kids, but these are the responsibilities that have to be met every day. And so if these aren't done, don't even ask. And that's a fair thing because you've already set the standard. You've already said what they should be doing, what they should not be doing. So if they're not following the standards, then they can't go. She can't have the freedom if she doesn't have, if she's not keeping up with her responsibilities and so that is the major thing that I find or one of the major things that I find with a lot of parents is that there's there's really a, a misbalance of it all and so if she wants to be able to you know and, and here's the thing with teen girls the freedom that they want encompasses everything right they want to be able to get a tattoo they want to be able to get an extra piercing they want to be able to color their hair they want to be able to you know have a boyfriend to talk on the phone with boys there's all this stuff that they want to be able to do and then you can't get them to clean up their room you can't get them to take a shower every day and to me that's just stuff that we have to be able to incorporate um <clears throat> as lessons for them. If you want the freedom to do this, you have to have the responsibility to do that. It does not, we can't let it go back and forth um, where they where they have the, the misbalance. That, that doesn't work for teenage girls or boys for that matter. And so um, I think being very cautious of that and plays a role. Also, reminding your daughter that, you know, everything that she wants to do can't be done right now right so even if she is super responsible but she's 13 and you don't want her to have a tattoo at 13 then she just has to wait till she's 18 or whatever the age limit that you set for me i mean i, I think i was 29 when i got my first tattoo and my mother was still mad <laughs> But I had the responsibility of a job. I had the responsibility to pay for it myself. I had the responsibility to care for it myself. Do you understand what I'm saying? So all of that makes a huge difference. And then when I got it, I was like, well, this was dumb. I put it in a place where I can't see it. No one else can see it. <laughs> because I was trying to be responsible and make sure it wasn't in a place where I couldn't get a job if I had it. And so it's, you know, it's just, it's a lose lose for me in my situation but teenagers love those kind of things they want to be able to do them they want to be able to accessorize themselves how they feel and as parents we have to be able to say no this doesn't work not for your life not right now and so making sure that she understands like this is the age limit for this this is the age limit for boyfriends this is the age for you know dates 
without, you know, that aren't group outings, all of that, everything makes a huge difference in the life of a teenager. And if she really wants it, then she'll be responsible to make sure that she can get it. That's just how that goes. So I hope this helps you, Naisha. Um, I know that, you know, you just from, because we are Facebook friends and then we're friends in real life. Um, I know that you're a great mom. And so don't forget to use your own discernment. Don't forget to remind your, to remind yourself that you are doing a great job. And sometimes you're going to say no because it just won't feel right. And that's okay too. As mothers, we have to be conscious of that nagging voice, right? That's inside of us. Or maybe it's not a nagging voice. Maybe it's your spirit saying, this is not going to turn out right. Anytime she could go to the movies, but today something just does not feel right, right? And of course your daughter's going to say, but my friends went and nothing happened. But that doesn't mean that nothing would have happened if you would have went. Because when we change the situation, when we change history, we have to change it all. That's the deal. So thank you so much. I hope this helps. I'm going to delete the other video because um, it was just driving me crazy being sideways like that and um, I will talk to you all soon have a great day mothers raising teen daughters I am Kiana Shaw CEO of Lead Hership Academy and the creator of this here great group and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye bye